Our instructor's here. The only way we can teach for Alec uh, is that we have a family member on the spectrum. That little girl there is my daughter, Sophia. She's six years old. She's got Rett syndrome, severely, severely disabled. She needs 24-hour care. She's nonverbal. Even at age six, she's got scoliosis already. She will walk, but only with assistance. So uh, what are you teaching here today? Uh, we're teaching uh, autism uh, awareness here. It's primarily geared for law enforcement, first responders, uh, primarily police. Police is who I teach. But we do have instructors that teach firefighters. Uh, we have branched out to uh, um, teachers and other uh, community leaders. So that's basically the idea of the course here is uh, autism awareness. Um, and j just to, to think outside the box or maybe a secondary approach to what's typically done uh, with this population. And uh, what, what will uh, some of these officers be learning? Well, they'll, they'll primarily uh, learn a, a multitude of things. Uh, what one of the parents had just suggested here, that the leading cause of death in the autism community is drowning. So we want officers to be aware of that. So if there's a wandering child or adult that's missing, uh, that'll be the first primary focus they're going to head to. Uh, we talk about uh, ways of properly restraining, ways of, of properly blocking uh, the child or adult so that they don't run into traffic, uh, building a rapport, what signs to look for, uh, clearly on the police end, alternatives to lockup, uh, arrest is, is the last option here. Um, there's a lot of other productive options that are out there other than arrest. Okay. So that's the basis for the course here. Who, who else can benefit from uh, autism awareness training of oh, any kind? Anybody. Um, parents, but generally your parents are your most uh, educated and aware because they deal with it on a 24-7 basis. Police, fire, school teachers, uh, nurses, uh, mental health providers that ha that don't have any formalized training at all uh, with the autism population, um, and you know any standard civilian that is not who I recommended in the previous category. It's just an overall education that'll help everybody in general. So, as an example, might be a neighbor. So, um, you know, I'm hypothetically a neighbor to an autistic child or adult. This would benefit me. So, if the adult or child were to get out or wander, I, as a neighbor might have some options here to contact the family or help, uh, you know, assist the family as I could. So really this is open for anybody, but primarily geared for me as a cop to teach other cops, and that's, that's kind of why I'm here. We want to be paired in the event we do have a situation. Um, part of the training is we had an autism day um, last week where we met with the kids at the station. We had a um, little petting pony, a bouncy house. We did station tours just to meet the kids, meet the families in town. In the event we do have to respond to the home, we're better prepared. And this training today will help build on that. So we have a partnership with the um, autism, Hopkins and Autism Parents Connection in town. is a great partnership that we just developed. And it's just going to be everybody working together in the event we do have a situation. Today's training is to help the police department have more familiarity with autism syndrome because the intersection with children with autism and the police department can often be fraught with danger for both sides. Drowning is a number one cause of death for children with autism and one of the things that we'd like to prevent is a child with autism drowning in our community. So helping the police department become more familiar with that so that they know to look for bodies of water whenever a child with autism goes missing.